Hello developers and welcome to our series on using Vagrant for development. This is the first video in our series where we will discuss what Vagrant is and why we should use it. At a previous job, we had a server for our production workload and each developer set up their own local development environment. To do this, we had a rough document that outlined what packages needed to be installed and what changes needed to be made in each configuration file. This process worked well, but we constantly had little differences between our environments. Every so often, someone would install a vastly different version of a package and use a feature that didn't exist in the production version of that package. When they deployed their code to production, it would break the application, and we would have to quickly roll back their changes. Worse still would be the fact that due to a mismatch in setups, a bug in production wouldn't be reproducible in the developer's environment, and they would waste hours trying to fix it. By using Vagrant, we can quickly and easily set up a development environment with a minimal amount of human involvement. What is Vagrant? Vagrant is an open source product that makes it easy to build and maintain software development environments. It uses hypervisors like VirtualBox and VMware to host the environment, and provides a glue layer that allows us to set up the necessary software we need. To get started, we'll need to install Vagrant from vagrantup.com. We're using version 2.2.14 for this series, and as always, using a different version may cause a different set of outputs. We'll also need a hypervisor like VirtualBox or VMware Workstation. This video series was recorded using version 6.1.16 of VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a good way to get started with Vagrant because it's free and open source, but VMware will give us better performance. Why should we use it? There are numerous benefits to using Vagrant to set up our development environment. Vagrant makes resetting our development environment super easy. This makes it really easy to set up a new computer or recover if something is broken. It helps reduce the it works on my computer excuses for bugs. Because we're using a common setup, we can be sure we're using the same major and minor versions of the packet. It provides the glue that makes it easier to develop our code, such as setting up a shared directory between the host and the guest virtual machine. This allows us to use our favorite GUI applications without having to jump through any extra hoops. Virtual machines. The core piece of technology that Vagrant leverages in order to set up our development environment is the virtual machine. Virtual machines are essentially a file that a special piece of software known as a hypervisor uses to run an operating system that behaves like a completely separate computer inside of another computer. For more information on virtual machines, be sure to check out our video, which we've linked to in the description below. In our next video, we'll discuss how to set up our initial development environment. Make sure to subscribe to get a notification when the next video is released.